How you doing? It's Sean O'Brien again, and today we're back out with the uh, high point again, and we're going to do a comparison against the H and K ninety four, and with the our good old nine nine five. Yep, it's a Gen one uh, high point. Uh, yeah, it's a Gen one. It's not a uh, Beretta. That's right. <laughs> um, and we're going to do you know just a, a little hundred yard. Um, fifty yard. Fifty yard. Sorry, fifty yard. Uh, grouping and then uh, maybe shoot shoot a little bit of steel with them. Yeah, we'll see how they do as far as reliability and function as well. So it's a kind of a cool little comparison. Um, we've got our uh, this gun was purchased by a friend of ours about five years ago yeah. for twenty five hundred dollars. I'm sure they they cost more than that now. Um, versus the the two hundred dollar Gen One High Point. So um, this is basically an MP5 except it's I guess the civilian version where it's got the sixteen inch barrel and it's semi automatic. So it's it's a good comparison. They're both. Uh, uh, semi-automatic nine millimeter carbines with 16 inch barrels yep. um, that one's got a red dot obviously this one's got open sights and it's uh, I guess two different um, ends of the spectrum as far as quality is concerned so it'll be fun to see how they do yeah so um, uh, that's not too bad shooting it in open sights yeah um, it's not and I had to get a little used to it but uh, right yeah I like it a lot and I the mean, recoil on this is a lot softer than the high point for sure oh yeah and it's only nine millimeter and right. after you shoot this where you think there's no recoil mm -hmm. but then to go shoot that it's, right yeah it's 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 night and day and then of course another obvious difference is this is how many rounds for the or hk94 30 30 ish something like that 20 20 30 rounds yeah. and then we have for the high point what are these 10, 10 rounds 10 yes yeah, so, i mean there's a, a huge Don't disadvantage hate. Dang, what's up? I did score a 15er. Sweet. <laughs> Whether it works or not, I don't know. A buddy of mine gave me a bunch of these. Um, hell, he didn't even know what they were. So, uh, um, so far, I put one mag to them and they ran. We'll see if they keep on running. Cool. All right, and of course, we're shooting the Wolf ammo, and then we also have some uh, Value Pack Federal that yep. we're shooting through it. But uh, we're rooting for the, uh, the Wolf as usual since we love our steel case. All right, let me uh, right, you ready? give this a run. We'll step out of the way. Uh oh all clear all right looks like you were on down there why don't, uh, why don't i sit here and i'll shoot the uh the hk94 you sure yeah think i can handle it don't embarrass yourself i'm gonna i might all right I'm grab these i'm shooting at the top target right uh yep all right well mine's the one with the holes in it. <laughs> <laughs> A little windy out. That's for sure. A lot windy, actually. Am I hitting it? My dead eye? You want me to do this on the camera or off camera? <laughs> I'm hitting a thing. Uh, you hit it once. Once? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna try it again. All right, you're. you're your low left. I mean, you're on. I wonder if it's the, the sight we the way we have it adjusted. Maybe it's let's, a tight group all on the bottom. Okay, let's go down and check it out. All right. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. We got Sean's group with the high point on the uh, bottom, and then my group uh, with the H and K 94 on the top. Uh, H and K is a little bit tighter, and Sean had with open sights, and Sean had a red dot on his. Right. So um, you know uh, they're they're close, but at the end of the day, the H and K, I think it did a little bit better, especially considering it had uh, open sights. Yeah, for sure. Cool. All right, well, let's head back up. Yeah, but the triggers are night and day. Oh my I mean, gosh. To me, that's a. 
a respectable group. Yeah, absolutely. This size, so but this one's even tighter. This size. Now we're gonna uh, uh, shoot some steel and uh, play around a little bit, see how they run. I got this high, high capacity 15 round magazine. Sweet. Let's see if she runs. First one out the gate. Ran that time. Yeah, pretty good. All right, let's try our old HK-94. Man, this thing is sweet. I hear you. I love it. So what do you think? I think I'm gonna have to stick with my $200 uh, hoopty. I hear you. I, I wish I had the cash for this thing. No, you don't know. get me wrong, yeah, I'd love to have it. Yeah, but you yeah. know what's cool though? You know, $2,500 gun, or maybe more today, $200 gun. And uh, you know, the grouping on this one was definitely better. But at the end of the day, I mean, the high, point hung, high point hung with it, you know? I hear you. So, I don't know. I guess if you got an extra 2,500, three grand in your pocket, buy an H and K if you're like us and you're broke. Or better, yet, <laughs> better yet, you could buy us one. That's right. That would be sweet. And a couple cases of ammo. That's it. Um, what do we got coming up next with us? So we have, not with that, but we actually have the new High Point 4595. Yes. So we have that. We're going to do our first look on. And then we're going to compare that to the, uh, the Tommy gun and the Chris Vector. Right. Which would be awesome. Can't yeah. wait for those. That'll be a good time. Yes. And then we're going to do, we're going to try to pull all the nine carbines together at one time and, and do a complete video yep. do like a shoot side off. by side right yes yeah, so that'll be awesome too and uh, see how that goes that, that ought to be a good time also we're going to get a new 995 that's right and compare it to that one yes yeah yeah the uh the latest and greatest versus the gen one because um, cool. this one has quite a few rounds through it mm -hmm. and never been cleaned right and still runs. so it's still running <laughs> It's great. Um, all right. Well, if you like us, please subscribe. Thanks. See